So a little bit of uh, well, a fallen uh, branch from a birch tree. Now actually this would be a good one for money drawing actually. Um, I'd probably use runes on it and go in visionary trance, that kind of thing. And you know as I carve the runes, possibly even blood them with my own blood or you could use a red pen if you want to wimp out. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so 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 what we got there? Yeah, you could do, you know get a knife out, which I got a big old knife in my back pocket, you know, and t take some of that, and then go somewhere, get deep into visionary trance, carve your runes, blood them, and powerful bit of money magic. But uh, talking of uh, money drawing magic i mean we've got a lot to contend with on that score um in the apocalypse that's going on right now uh e economies tanking you know food shortages gas prices just through the roof um you know we got a lot on our plates how do you do magic that will kind of overcome you know, I mean, the odds are, are, are basically rising against you in terms of uh, money drawing. So, so how, what do you do? Well, you have to up the ante for sure. Um, you know, you do do any money magic, it's just got to go all out full bore. Now, for me, I think one of the best methods is, yeah, I mean, come out somewhere like this. It's, it's not, if you look around... Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, but, um, you know, you're going to get a few people about. This is actually Monday morning, so you get the odd person walking the dog. And you really don't want that, because you need to just completely immerse and lose yourself. Um, and, you know, if someone stumbles across you, it just mucks it up. So you've got to go deep country. Then you've got to get, get yourself in... Into a, into a very deep visionary trance. You do that by completely relaxing yourself head to toe. Um, and, and you've always got to still your internal dialogue, uh, self-talk. Take that so there's no thoughts going on. And somehow, using feeling, keep your intention for money drawing kind of there. It's more of a feeling than... Um, thinking I gotta draw money you know you don't want to do that you kind of willpower um, you need it for motivation and all that but when you're doing the magic just kind of still things down a bit and then if you're in a nice environment like this you can uh, sort of use it so when you know you you're sitting out somewhere, right? And uh, you very aware of the location around you, so you almost got astrally project in that location. And uh, that's really where all sorts of strange things can happen. And you've got to let them happen, you know. So, uh, so that's really the key. Hello there. <laughs> so that, yeah, so that's just someone going past. Um, so that's the key, is, uh, you know, so you're in this kind of shamanic kind of visionary trance. And, you know, so you're kind of here. Well, you know, it wouldn't be here because there's a track, you know. Look behind me, lady walking a dog. You know, you don't want all that going on. Get as deep country as you can. And I've got places, um, but I just came here. Because it's kind of not far from the store, you know. Um, so, so you're in a visionary trance, and you know it's kind of in the landscape you're in. So, then you almost begin to leave your body, and slowly you will leave it, and anything can happen then. So you've still got the intention as a feeling, which is money drawing, but as you traverse this etheric landscape which is 
more or less the same as you're actually in but it may change and you may go a lot further afield you can just jump somewhere else multi-dimensionally but let's say and I, I say just let happen what happens keep that feeling intention there but let's say an animal comes along wolf tiger um, squirrel you know in in your like visionary world and this could be a power animal in which case you kind of commune almost telepathically with it and get across that intention presuming you're certain they're a power animal and uh, then they will take it with them to help you on your quest in money drawing you might may also meet something like what seems like a a magician, a druid, a shaman, some kind of witch from 500 years ago. It could be literally anything. It could could even be someone who's dressed up very smart, stockbroker or something, comes along and you think, God, what's this? But really, he's kind of a shame, shaman in disguise. Um, if you feel certain about and you can be tricked by these ether against his, so you have to be really careful but when you're certain then you hand that intention to them and then once you come out of it you go home and all that after um might be quite soon or a couple of days you'll probably get synchronicities going on that lead you like coincidences that lead you on potentially different or interesting paths you follow them you don't necessarily stick with them because they they could could be uh, there's a plane going over jet military uh, there's a big um, well two air bases British RAF and US USAF so yeah jet oh, no. but anyway yeah so so always remember that you can be kind of uh, tricked even at that level it's not to say tricking you at that level it's maybe a teaching learning lesson you go down a path a little and say, mm, it's not right but you needed to learn what that path taught you and so the knowledge you get from the etheric plane who you know your power animal or kind of mental shaman and obviously they, they could appear as anything like shapeshifters um, but then the, the, the synchron, synchronistas, coincidences that go on in your everyday life, they'll lead you there. Mix that, you've got to have motivation too. Um, but yeah, so that's one method of drawing money in the apocalypse. <laughs>